uh, when they were searching for planets, uh, they thought something, some planet was perturbing the orbit of Neptune when they recently discovered Neptune. So they looked, and an American astronomer uh, sighted this small object that looked to be in orbit around the sun, and he called it Pluto, and uh, that became the ninth planet. But as we got more familiar with Pluto, we started finding out more about its characteristics. Its orbit was highly elliptical, which means it comes in closer than Neptune sometimes to the sun, and no other planets do that. No other planets cross orbits with another planet. Also, it's very small, and it's apparently made mostly of ice. And that didn't really fit with the other planets. So the planets are supposedly objects that form early when the solar system formed, and they condensed into their shape in that particular orbit. Pluto looked a little more like a captured object, uh, something from the Kuiper belt or something from uh, just left over from the formation of the other planets. But it remained being a planet for a long time because it was first coined a planet, and a little bit of politics, an American found it. It's the only planet found by American. So uh, it was really hard to demote it from planetary status. But what finally happened was they started finding objects out beyond the orbit of Pluto that were larger than Pluto, and that had even more, uh, better orbits than Pluto. And so if Pluto was going to remain a planet, those objects were also have to be termed planets. And instead of having nine planets, we'd have up to 14 planets in the solar system. But those objects, again, were you know, sort of weird. They didn't really fit in with the general scheme of the planetary system. We have the four terrestrial planets, uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And we have the four Jovian planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. They didn't really fit in, so they decided to make a subcategory um, basically called, you know, actually now it's called Plutoids. Mm -hmm. So Pluto got demoted as being a planet, but it became the boss of its own little classification. Early on, we only thought it had one moon, and that moon was called Charon, and it's a really large moon for the size of the planet. Very interesting moon. Uh, but then Space Telescope later discovered two more, Hydra and Nix. And now after, since we're sending a spacecraft out there called New Horizons, it should... Uh, I think it's 2014 or something when it's uh, scheduled to arrive. Uh, they had to make sure and check out the system so they didn't go crashing into anything. And as they were looking at it in real detail with Hubble Space Telescope, they started finding a couple of other moons. So now it went from having one moon, now it has five moons. And these are little chunks of material that aren't really like our moon. Like our moon is a very substantial object. If it were orbiting the sun, it would have been a planet instead of a moon. But since it's orbiting the Earth, it's called a moon. So it's not like that. It's, they're like little pieces of asteroids that got caught in, in Pluto's gravity. So, uh, and they're really worried that there are more of them up there. And when New Horizons gets in the solar system, if they don't know it's there, they can't tell it to avoid that area, and it might crash into the, one of those moons. So that's a, that's a real concern. Okay. Yeah. Okay.